नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका फिर से स्वागत है मेरे YouTube चैनल पर हाउ दिस डे मंथ एंड ईयर इज गोइंग टू वर्क सो लेट्स सी सो हियर इन केस ऑफ डे एंड देन मंथ एंड देन ईयर तो हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू वर्क लेट्स सी तो हियर Let's see. I am having some date of birth. I am having some uh, this dummy employee, and this is date of birth. So I I want to see day month here how it is going to work. So here if I am going to write day formula, this is my day formula. And in case of day formula, if I am going to give reference of this date of birth, so what it is going to give me? This is going to give me twenty. That is a date like date. Uh, this is a twenty. So if it, if it there is thirty one, so it is going to give me thirty one. So here, if I am going to drag this formula, so you see, automatically it is giving me two, four, eighteen, twenty-seven, and all these dates it will give. In the same way, this is the same family. Like yesterday, I told you, or maybe day before yesterday, there was a upper formula, lower formula, and the proper formula. Those three formula were in the same family. In the same way, here it is all going to work. And here, I'm if I am going to put here month, and in case of month, I am going to use this. So it is going to give me eleven. And in the same way, if I am going to use year. so then it is going to give me year 1979 so this is the way like three formula these are going to work and if sometimes uh, you say that okay instead of month you want that okay i want november december april july then what should i do anyone friends what should i do in case i want here instead of month i should have november i should have december i should have april so which formula i should put any anyone so saying take formula yeah Which one? Text formula. Text formula. Uh, yeah. So Mr. Reddy is saying uh, mid formula. Shubham no. is saying text formula. No. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Santhil is saying uh, M M M M. So here, like whoever is saying the mid formula. So mid formula, yeah. friends, it is not going to work because why it is not going to work? So let's try to understand first thing. For Excel, uh, like memory, this date of birth is nothing but like a number only. It is only that display which you are seeing as a date. But in actual, for all practical purpose, for Excel, in Excel internal memory, this it is behaving like this is a pure number. This is a pure absolute number is there. So how to find that? Right now, if you go here and if you see here, what is the format of this date of birth? So this is a date. But if I am going here and if I say and I change this general format, what will happen? It will give me all the numbers only, like the some digital number only. This is going to give me. I am doing Control Z. So if I am having the today's date, so if I say that today, so that is twelve five twenty twenty, and if I say thirteen tomorrow, so what will be the difference? If I put it control C and I put here paste value, paste special and value only, so what it is giving? That is forty three thousand nine sixty three. This is giving forty three thousand nine sixty four. It means every date represents one single number. That means that number will be added in the previous date. So that is the uh, logic behind it. And if I am going to ask you, what was the number one? When did uh, like in Excel, which date is the number one? Anybody knows? Like in case if I am saying that okay, right now we are having 2020, but in case of 2020, if I multiply it by 365, so it should be 7 lakh 37,300. So every day, one one nineteen hundred. One one nineteen hundred. Yes. So that is the thing. Like if I say that okay, one, uh, or if I am going to put only one. And now, if I say that this format should be converted as one, so let's see what will happen. So it is going to show me one one nineteen hundred means first January nineteen hundred is treated as a number one in Excel, Microsoft Excel. That is the number one. So in the same way, so it is from since nineteen hundred. This is forty three thousand nine hundred sixty three days. Like in one twenty years, these number of days actually we are having. So this is the logic behind this of date of birth. So now we came to know that okay. these are the things month you know that is a text formula so that is a text formula is equal to text so that formula is in the family of text family so here what we should do i say that okay c2 and here if i go m m m only m m three times and if i put here so automatically it is going to give me number so the person who has given the answer that okay mid formula we can use so mid is not going to work because in excel memory this is a number so if i am going to use mid formula and if i say that okay this is the mid And comma, you say that okay, one, two, three, and if you say that okay, four, because you said that it is going to start from four, comma three, what it will give? So it is giving only seventy nine. 
now you will confuse that okay why 79 by chance here is 79 month means here but here 71 is 69 here 69 is 97 so why it is behaving like this this is behaving like this because if i am going to control c and paste value here uh, like here the numbers if i am going to put here this format so now you see 29179 so here because of my formula this is getting fourth character so fourth character is 7 and i want three more characters so because there are only two characters so it is taking only 4 comma 3 so that means in case if i am going to use mid formula then it is not going to work so never use any left formula mid formula or right formula in case of date always remember month formula here equal to month so you have put here 11 and like you have done this now you can put a here is some logical formula what is that logical formula if what is uh, you know we put, uh, told you if formula so if this is less than d2 less than 3 if it is less than 3 then what it will do uh, no first uh, let's take uh, if it is less than 12 then what we should take so uh, no less than 3 yeah, less than less than 3 so we will say it should be quarter 1 then otherwise we can say quarter 4 so let's see this is a d2 whether that is less than 3 otherwise quarter 4 so now it is showing me this is quarter 1 quarter 1 quarter 1 and if uh, there is some month this is 2 also that is also quarter 1 so now i want what should be the formula for quarter 2 so here i can put what is the formula for quarter 2 so i can copy the same formula yesterday i told you if formula so here i can put in case it is less than 6 less than 6 then i want that okay this should be the quarter 2 so that is here it is quarter two okay now i can copy the same formula here whatever this formula is there and i can copy here on this quarter four so now what will it, it will do so it will give me quarter one as well as quarter two also now the same formula which i have copied i can put here quarter three so here i can put nine and then i can put here quarter three so now it is going to give me all the values one formula also quarter three and now let's see how it is going to do quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four where i want quarter four less than three q1 if d2 less than six q2 if d2 less than nine q3. otherwise if that is not true that should be q4 so it should take q4 q4 means i have to put here in bracket so now it is going to work for q4 also so Megna is asking, can it happen in one column, right? sort of a different uh, column physically? Yeah, yeah. So one column I have done now. Now I just for uh, telling you. So if you go here, so only in one column I have put this formula. You see, this is the quarter. This is only one formula. Like if D2 less than 3, then I'm saying it should be Q1, quarter 1. If D2 less than 6, it should be quarter 2. If D2 less than 9, it should be quarter 3. Otherwise, quarter 4. So this I have based on the calendar year. In the same way, you can change the thing if you want to make as an Indian financial year also. So in that case, what you will say, in case this is less than 3, you should make here quarter 4. Less than 6, you should make here quarter 1. Less than uh, 9, here should be quarter 2. And here it should be quarter 3. Because here, our financial year is April to March. So that will also work. So now you know the if formula. So based on the if formula, automatically it is going to give you the result. 